I learned to drive in Paris, so I consider myself an excellent driver, and I consider that I can drive anywhere after driving in Paris. Well, happily, I found a marvelous polisher, and he does the heavy industrial polishing on the sand-casted pieces. They have a surface which is very granular, which is the surface of the sand. I make sure that the forms themselves are emphasized, are finished the way I want them, and then I give the piece to him, and then this way we get the final polish, which uh, for the big pieces is a tremendous help. I don't do preliminary sketches for my sculptures. They're drawings for the sake of drawing. I draw very quietly, very meticulously. It may take me three or four or five days to do a drawing. But with the sculpture, I'm much more impatient. I want to see it right away. I want to see it. I want to see at least the basic form very quickly. I enjoy the physical labor of uh, making sculptures much more than uh, working at a, a work table. The first step is to make the sheets of wax, which I, I stack up until I have four or five or six uh, large sheets. And then I start cutting and working and bending. And I use heat and uh, hot instruments to cut and to weld the pieces together. Uh, and in this way, I build up slowly by adding uh, pieces or subtracting them, uh, the basic shape of the sculpture. The last few sculptures have been in uh, relief. I think it's because I'm, I'm combining these, uh, these sculptures with another material, which is a silk or wool, and it seems to lend itself to a sort of a flat uh, relief surface rather than a three-dimensional one. I'm taking a hard material and a soft material and making them work together. This is my way of trying to relate African sculpture to my way of working. Of course, I am not African, and my uh, cultural background is certainly not African. But I think, on the other hand, I have a perfect right, and more than that, a, a certain obligation to learn and to explore a culture which is uh, related to me uh, racially. This little bronze and aluminum factory that uh, I found in Paris is really quite a marvelous place. And uh, we've been doing a, a series of sand-casted aluminum uh, I usually bring them a plaster made from my wax model, and then they do the sand casting. I haven't returned to live in the States since 61. Of course, there were many personal reasons. I met Mark, I uh, decided to get married, I raised a family, and I made long trips with him to India, to China, to North Africa, and it was the thing, I think, that changed my approach to art and my um, approach certainly to Western art and its relationship to me. Things never come out the way you have them in your head. It's always a, a process of changing, of rethinking, of uh, trying to get into material form what you have in your head, which is something probably that never really happens. What is pleasant, however, is um, to see pieces that are five or six 
years old that stand up, that one is happy to see again, or that one is happy to have around after three or four years. This is nice. This is something that uh, makes life uh, <laughs> worth living.